What is up everyone? This is Tiffany with thegearlady.com. Today we are talking about 10 things that I wish I would have known before I went to a ski resort for the first time. So whether you are skiing or snowboarding, these tips apply to you. And these are just basically like 10 things that no one's gonna think to tell you, but everyone kind of knows. When I look through the videos available on YouTube, the main tips available are to help people to ski or snowboard better, but there's like so many things that you need to know that no one really talks about. And so I'm trying to break this down to like really beginner level, maybe people that have never been to a ski resort in the winter, that was me before I went for my first time. For those of you that are new here, I created The Gear Lady because I love to adventure and try new things. And my goal with The Gear Lady is to just normalize newbie. So I take you along on my adventurings and bring you along with all the things that I learn and gear recommendations that I have. And so these tips come from snowboarding for a few years. I'm still what I consider to be a professional beginner, but I've learned a few things over the years and I'm passing those learnings on to you. So you are welcome. <laughs> Here we go, let's dive right into these tips. These are not in orders of importance. It's just like 10 things. So go pee when you get to the ski resort before you put all of your gear on. <laughs> That's a random thing, but I'm telling you, you should absolutely go to the bathroom before you get out and you're on the slopes. Most of the time, the bathroom is not necessarily located in a convenient area. I mean, it's convenient for getting to the resort, but when you're out on the slopes, skiing or snowboarding, to make your way all the way back is kind of going to be a hassle. Try to do that before you get all of your gear on because it is so awful to get all of your gear on and then you're like, oh dang it, I need to go to the restroom. You have all this gear that's supposed to keep you so warm out in the freezing cold. You go into room temperature and you're just dying and you're trying to use the restroom as fast as you possibly can. You can understand where mistakes could be made and it's just use the restroom very first thing before you even get your gear on and that way you're not having to like hobble around like a little penguin. You will thank me later, I promise. Next tip, you wanna be really careful where you stop. When you're a beginner skier or snowboarder, you're probably gonna to have to take some breaks, maybe adjust your gear, wait for some of your other friends that are coming down, but just be very aware that there is going to be other riders out on the mountain and you need to make sure that you're visible. So make sure that you're not stopping and sitting just right on the other edge because people might be barreling down and just run right into you. So that's gonna be a really big danger. Anytime you go to like stop or sit down, just look around you and make sure that people have a very clear vision to you. So if you end up falling and you know that you're in kind of a danger zone, just do your best to get out of the way as quickly as you possibly can. This one is really important to me because I don't enjoy doing things when I'm hungry. I reach a hangry state. I don't know if any of you do. Bring snacks. Now, whether you choose to bring snacks in your coat or whether you just choose to bring snacks and leave them in the car, I highly recommend you bring at least some type of like granola bar or something with a little bit of substance. So if you're out on the mountain and get a wave of fatigue that sets in, that can help just like get some carbs, get some sugar rolling in your body to just give you a little boost of energy to at least get down that run. Have something on you in your coat and then for sure have some snacks in the car. I can't tell you the number of times that traffic has just been so backed up going down the canyon. And I've been so grateful that we have plenty of things to eat. I usually try to bring some type of like beef jerky or some type of protein and then maybe something like some fresh fruit like apple or orange just to have a few options as well. Next tip, bring chapstick. I know that sounds so silly, but it's something that I personally forget sometimes and it's so infuriating because you're up there, it's cold, your lips are absolutely going to get a little bit dry. And if you have some type of chapstick or lip gloss or something to keep them moisturized, you just do it, okay? Don't ride so hard that you make yourself miserable. That applies if you're riding just for the one day, but especially if you are going on a ski trip for multiple days, the last thing you wanna do is go out your first day, push yourself so hard that the next few days you don't even wanna ski and you're so miserable. Or I've done it a few times where I've just been boarding one day, but I board so hard trying to get the most kind of bang for my buck that I push it too hard and then for days and days later, I'm just kind of miserable and kind of ruins the experience a little bit. So I recommend you push yourself, but not too hard that 
it's unbearable for you. This next one is don't be afraid to fall. I know that sounds so silly, but as a beginner skier or snowboarder, you're absolutely going to fall sometimes and that's just part of the process. And sometimes people fear falling so much that it just makes the experience so much more difficult because they're not using the proper form or kind of leaning into the turns that they need to. And so just recognize that as a beginner snowboarder or skier, you're going to fall. Just embrace it. Don't be afraid to fall because it's inevitable. You're gonna fall. The next thing is get gear that fits you. The main complaint that new skiers or snowboarders have is that they are uncomfortable or that they're cold. So getting gear that fits you properly is going to help to combat both of those complaints, especially comfort. And the main piece of gear that is just so crucial in your comfort is boots. So if you're renting your boots, make sure you try them on before you leave. If you haven't seen my video all about beginner gear on a budget, I will link that here. And I talk about an experience where I didn't try my boots on before I left and they were too small and I was miserable the entire day. Make sure you look at the resort map before you get going if possible. The reason for that is if you're a little bit familiar with which runs you want to take and which runs you want to avoid, that's going to be helpful. If you know the names of the lifts, that'll be helpful as well. Depending on the group that you're with, if you get separated, you can choose a designated spot. And so if you can recognize the names and kind of have an idea of where you should be going that will be so helpful I've actually been there recently where I went to a new resort that I hadn't been to before I didn't know the names of the lifts I didn't know the names of the runs and I got separated from my friends and I couldn't even stop and ask for help because I didn't even know like what to say hey I'm trying to get to this lift that's over there kind of to the left it just suddenly got off the trail next thing I know I just came down through all those trees, which I have no business doing. I made it to the bottom. Not gonna lie, I got a little scared there for a second. All limbs still intact. Look at the map, be somewhat familiar with the resort. You will be happy you did. Have some way to communicate with the rest of your group. So I highly recommend you bring your cell phone. If you have some type of calling watch, I use my Apple watch quite a bit. Actually through my gear, I can press a little button and then say text so-and-so or call so-and-so and it's through my gear. I'm not having to take all my glo gloves and everything off to get to it. You're probably gonna get separated from members of your group at some point and so having a way to get in touch with them is really crucial. If you do bring your cell phone, bring a hand warmer to put in that pocket Keeping your phone a little bit warm with the hand warmer will help prolong the battery life. If you don't do that, the cold will just make it die so much faster than it does normally. It might be dead by the time you go to use it. So really good tip. You also want to pee before you leave the resort. Here's why. You never know how bad traffic is going to be getting back down the mountain. And so if you have to use the restroom, I've done it a time or two where you're sitting there and you're stuck in traffic. And I have heard stories, I don't know if they're true, but of people having to pee on the sides of the road and spoiler alert, someone's butt got stuck to a bumper. Okay, that's all you need to know. Mistakes were made. I don't know if it's true, but I don't wanna find out. Pee first thing when you get there and also pee before you leave. And I'm not just saying this because I have mom bladder, okay? Just like, no matter who you are, you will thank me later. Those are my top 10 tips for new skiers and snowboarders to feel a little bit more confident when they go to the slopes for the first time. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button and go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. See that? It's kind of a treacherous day on the mountain. I'm looking rough. Okay. Is that every beginner, skier, or snowboarder? Wow, that's in my eye.